I'm Pastor Salem and I want to welcome you again to the Christian Worship Hour. Another week has rolled by, God's brought us on our way, and here we are all over the world. We're going to gather around the throne of God. And I have a very special message today that I, and it's a message that, and that is rejoicing in old age. And so if you know some shut-ins or you know some people that are in advanced years and uh, somebody may be in the hospital or in a nursing home or whatever, uh, just give them a ring or try to have them tune us in. And I just know you're going to be blessed by this service. And you young people, you say, well, it won't be anything for me. But you know, if God is good to you, you'll be in old age too. And so you can get some good ideas and you can see how you can live a better life by looking at your elders. And so all of you stay tuned. We're going to have a wonderful time together. We're reading from Philippians chapter 3, beginning with verse 7. And in our prayer today, we're going to pray for the believers in Jordan. But let's look at Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. But what things were gained... St. Paul is writing this. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ... Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I made it might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth toward the, unto those things which are before, I tr press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything we be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereunto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. And Heavenly Father, that's our prayer also, that we'll forget those things that are behind because they're all under the blood. And all of those sins and all of those failures we've had, they're all washed away. And we're told in a wonderful scripture, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sin. And old prophet Isaiah told us that you spoke through him and said, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And so the all of the past is gone. And now we live in the present and we look forward. We look to you. Our eyes are upon you, dear Jesus. And we want to be like you and we want to serve you. In all the days of our life and especially in old age, we can still serve. We're not set aside. We're serving we're growing, we're bearing fruit in old age. Oh God, you use us until you, our work is done and then you take us home and not until. And now Lord, we pause to pray for our brothers and sisters in the country of Jordan. And we know that they are being persecuted, some put to death, oh God. And to those who are put to death, we rejoice because they're in your presence. They wear the martyr's crown. They'll wear that and, and we'll see them someday who laid down their life for you. But we pray for those left behind, the widows, the old grandmothers and grandpas and the little children, the poor little children, oh God, who have no sins and can never hurt a soul and yet they have to suffer. But you know, Lord, you have a purpose. There's a reason for all these things and someday you're going to put an end to it and the suffering will be all gone because we'll be in the presence of the Lord. So bless those brothers and sisters in Christ in the country of Jordan. Now, Lord, bless this service. Use it to speak to many hearts. To those who do not know you, we pray they'll all swing open their life to you today. 
and those, Lord, who are Christians, but maybe in old age and having some, maybe some tough times, help them to see that they are here because you are using them and let them be used of you. So bless us in this service. All praise to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.